Okay, so having uh, finished all of our tasks here in Novarad, I think it is indeed finally time for us to head over to Skellige. Uh, so we are going to meet everybody on a ship in the harbor, I think, and sail right over there. Watch out! All right, time for a voyage. What's true? Help protect Siri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello, and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. Hmm. <sighs> Got a hard time believing Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Okay. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. <clears throat> that would be a good reason. How's Rita now? Barely got out of prison herself. She spoke to Fringilla before they imprisoned her. Fringilla said that the Emperor had summoned her and she'd explained why after the meeting. No one's heard from her since. Thought this kind of drama only happened around Radovid. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come. They're all waiting for us. I've said it before, but I love, I love her hood. And the whole outfit, really. Well, what is it? No need to thank me, Philippa. Always glad to save your ass. You're welcome. You've stood to gain. That is why you saved me. It's not wrong. Way back when, did you really send assassins after Dijkstra? You believe I... I do not remember we were once lovers. Maybe it's just me, but I think you'd consider that in itself to be reason enough. Actually, I've long wondered why you parted, quarreled even. <sighs> you see, Geralt, there are those who keep politics separate from their private lives, and those who do not. Which one was Dijkstra? The more boring of the two. Farewell. Well, not really. Avala. Who else can we talk to? Alright, so Yen's over there. Can I go in here? Yeah. Hey, Rita. Are you doing better? How are you feeling? Better. I thank you. If you'd not arrived in time, things might have ended considerably worse. I am your debtor. Thank you, Yennefer. It was her idea, her plan. Thought Margarita Loantil would be among the last to get nabbed by witch hunters. Were it dependent solely on me, of course I would have. But you forget I had my students to consider. I knew the hunters would eventually reach Aratusa. It was but a matter of time. So when I heard Triss was organizing escapes to Kavir, I saw no reason to hesitate. I gathered my novices and we rode here to Novigrad. Sadly, we were caught and thrown in Dayrad before I could contact Triss. Didn't see any other sorceresses in there with you? Yeah. Because they'd already been executed. Burned. Alive. One after the other. The most talented girls in the North. Radovid was saving me for last. Well, good thing we got rid of them. If you're here, what's become of Eratusa? The day I arrived in Novigrad, I received a message from Beruta Ikati. A short, curt note. School overrun by Redanians. The libraries burn. Handful of pupils fled with Nina Vivero. The rest are dead. It is over. No reaction from the Council? The Conclave? Do you jest? They asked Radovid to intervene, just after he'd appointed them. 
Woof. Farewell, Rita. Oh. Okay. Bye. I guess I'll go talk to. Is Triss here somewhere? Boring as fucking shit. Triss? No. Okay, let's go talk to Yen and uh, Avalok. Oh, wait. Aha. Yes, Geralt? Back there at the Kingfisher. Oh, you really want to talk about it? Maybe I should get Yennefer. Wouldn't want her to miss any of this. Hmm, no, you're right. Bad idea. <laughs> yeah, maybe Siri, uh... Siri, you doing okay there? Got a minute? Of course. Ooh, I think we've already answered all these questions. Okay. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. Bye. All right, let's set sail. Unless Yennefer has something different to say. Geralt. Oh, yeah. You and Triss have a good time? Splendid. We finally got the chance to talk. What about? Everything but you. Geralt of Rivia is no longer a subject of any interest to either of us. Ouch. Okay. Well, those two are good friends, clearly. Uh. Thanks, Yen. See you later. Thanks, Yen. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Why are you so grumpy? Yes, let's go. Anchors away. Anchors away. A lot of ships that weren't there before. Well, that settles the question of His Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skellige after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the ML. Hmm. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Fleet? Do we look like elves? <laughs> uh... Talus, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Galban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillion. Yet, she spurned him. <laughs> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillion a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillion's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. 
Let's just hope this sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. <sighs> oh. Sorcery doesn't stop you from getting seasick, it seems. The sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. You may be dead to him, but I'm fine. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Emir's mages? Of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll mm. need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, Show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised, and what he'll get in return. Alright. Got my marching orders. I'm off. Good luck. What does it say? Your Imperial Majesty. From Yennefer to Emir. Allow me to remind you that our arrangement encompassed all the sorceresses wishing to take part in the risky endeavor whose success is so vital to us. I find it hard to believe that in the current situation, when I have already succeeded in gathering so many members of the Lodge, you would refuse to allow Frangilla Vigo to join our company. I understand there are personal factors that make you reluctant to part with your subject, but I assure you our interests are aligned in those matters as well. I promise that I will uphold the conditions of our arrangement despite the fact that they will demand sacrifices of me and will leave me in an unfortunate situation. I therefore request, politely yet with great insistence, that you release Fringilla. With all due respect, Yennefer. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Where are y'all going? Yeah, I so what? To see oh. It's just like, what if I disappear again tomorrow? For good this time, like my mother did. I feel like I shouldn't see anyone who is fond of me. At least not until we defeat the Wild Hunt. We can always drop you back on the Isle of Mist. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Alright. Ah, I see. Okay, that must be his ship ahead. So we have to get past these boys, who I guess can't see me right now. Which means we probably have to dive, which means we should use some killer whale. Let's see. Here it is. Alright. Let's go, girl. Yeah. Definitely want to avoid that one. Quickly, girl. Oh wow, okay, it's got a whole bubble, I guess. Okay. Now I think there's a an anchor maybe that we can climb onto. Let's see. This one looks maybe promising. Let's see, how about this one? 
Don't let fly. Where the hell this has one? he gone? Hmm. Light there. Let's have a quick breath. Halt! It's the Witcher. Oh. Emperor's orders. Stand down. Oh, okay. Not very sneaky, but that's fine. It was an anchor. Needed to get permission. Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, your majesty. You should have come with my daughter. Your welcome would have been different. Where is she? <laughs> In Zeracania, she longed for sunlight. I am known neither for my sense of humor, nor for my patience. You're insolent because you believe I cannot afford to hurt you. And you're right. For Yet now. that will change yeah, exactly. one day, when you are no longer indispensable, but disposable. But enough of that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. Hmm. That was suspiciously easy. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. Didn't answer my question. Nor must I. <laughs> Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her Dimeritian shackles. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Geralt knows all the sorceresses. Fringilla. Been a while. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale near Ard Skellig. We could take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. Spies teleports and have it your way. Let's go. Fringilla Vigo. Philip, a pleasure as always. Come now, we need none of that. Fringilla, we must speak. Oh my. Yeah, thanks, Yen. Oh, there she is. Hey, Fringilla. You're, You're welcome. Yes, Geralt? You look good. For a captive of Emir, is that what you mean? Seems like he's shown you surprising leniency. No interrogations, no torture. Or did you just tell him everything he wanted to know? If I told him everything, He'd hardly still need me alive, wouldn't you say? Anyway, we shan't speak of it. I and what concerns me have not been a concern of yours for some time, huh? <laughs> okay, bye. So long. Man, we've really just pissed off every sorceress in town. Alright, let's get out of here. Hey, Croc. Oh, there's the lighthouse. Wolf. Did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs. I've been there. Fear the gates. Seek to strike fear in our hearts. Solomon, where's Ermian? 
to see Lugras. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now we've seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. I think I'll join Ermion. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. Yeah, better let cooler heads prevail, huh? Hi. All the way up here. Shooting yourself in the foot there, Lugas. Best blades not worth. I'll not kneel before an oncrate, never. That clear to you. You prefer to eat the black ones? I'd sooner eat the rights of bleeding more hog than let crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Yars call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. Hmm. What would you call it if not treason? That's your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! Uh-oh. Ah, no. Whoa. Really? Whoop. Get him, Ermian. Take him out. Whoops. Oh, Ermion killed him all by himself. Good job. Alright. Sir. I'm gonna follow you, huh? Nice. Okay, I'm following you. Oh, now we can go? I'm just gonna poke around up here for a second. Anything good? Let's see where he goes. I'm gonna hop down. There we go. Going? Oh, are you fighting people? Okay. Let's go. Can we leave now? Do we have to take this guy out? Oh, maybe I could have just opened it right away. Nice. Fine. I'll axiom. Uh. Pathetic. Whoa. All right, let's go, Armian. Don't worry about me. Bye. Oof. That's <laughs> enough. Wait, wait. This one's really funny. I'm just telling jokes. No? Okay. Nope. Oh. All right. Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermion. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. It wasn't just me. Hmm. 
I don't know why this is silent. Yalmar. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Krok sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! <laughs> an agreement? Only Krach believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? <laughs> How's Yalmar? Yalmar handling things all right? Lads developed quite a taste for heroic adventures. Left ruling the Isles to his father. Yeah, sounds quite right. Quite fortunate, in fact, as now, on the eve of war, we need a more experienced leader. And Ceres? Uh, I would say she's been more useful than Shalmar. Listen, Ermian. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The mask of Urbers first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. Hey. I've never found the Enshi elves interesting. But there's a scald, Avid. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Aranbjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the Pearl Divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlong. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Hmm. Fishlong? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hello, Will. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Okay, thank you. Thanks for your help. One thing, Garrett. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago, were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one. Oh, I have a whole bevy. Oh, gaggle this time. Gaggle. Yeah. Uh, gods protect us. <laughs> okay. Find this pearl diver, I think. Hello? It just stayed in the water. It must be the pearl diver's boat. Ah. Okay, so they're probably down here somewhere. Killer whale. They're probably down here, one would think. Ooh. Hello? Oh, there we go. Look, Erling, told you we wasn't done for the day. Didn't even have to fish this one out. You daft. Can't you see he's a witcher? Yeah, come What's on. What's a witcher doing here? Looking for you. Run out of pearls. Not your concern. What the sea gives, we take. Seems she's a reluctant giver. Hey, I could use a better knife. But a few hours and their fingers are swollen. Uh. Uh. Risking a lot. Boy, that a threat or something? Don't need to worry about me, but I heard calls underwater. Monsters must have sensed blood. Uh, I don't. Are hear you nothing. a witcher? Ordinary folk never hear these things till it's too late. We best get out of here, Matthias. Plan to return the bodies to their families, at least? I mean, once you're done. They speak true. 
Mutants got nothing resembling refined sentiments. Look at them. You think their ever-loving mums and wifeys want to see them in this state? The sea will bury them. And that's that. Okay, whatever. Listen, heard you know a thing or two about elven ruins in Skellige. Who says? Ermian. Hmm. You'll not tell him what you saw today, will you? Depends. Mm -hmm. Elven ruins, you say? What you want to know? Druid mentioned some cavern you've never been able to enter. Where is it? East of Kertrold. In a cove you can only reach from the sea. We got nothing else for you, so if you're done, we'd rather get back up top. I'm done. And good idea. Okay. Ooh, they're gone. Wait. Oh, there's drowners. Did they get them? Oh, yep. Okay. Alrighty, come here. One in the oh, here we go. There we go. So, did they did they die? Because those they came pretty dang fast. Okay, no more treasures. Let's go, girl. From this day on, my home is here. There she is. Did you sever his head? We serve her, I will bird and mother and strong. Otherwise, I'll continue to wonder if he's not about to stab me in the back. Do you have something of a persecution complex? You need to come with us. I haven't eaten. Hmm. What are you up to, Yen? Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalok's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? Yep. So, what? Wanna just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? You know it. Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikerog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstone's on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? Huh. All right, so we've got a couple of things to do now. Find out what's up with Avala. Get that sunstone. 